Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to answer the burning question that's on no one's mind. Can you sneak a gigantic fighter jet across the map in GTA Online? You heard me right. Sneak. Dutch, I'm trying to sneak, but I'm dummy thick. And that means we are driving this enormous chunky boy from here to here. And if it truly is a sneaky chunky boy, it should be no problem at all. The rules. 1. Public lobby. 2. No passive mode. 3. We need to get a minimum of 3 sprung stops. 4. No flying. And 5. To ensure I will not be flying, I will be driving this thing backwards the entire run unless I have to get out of sticky situations. Let us begin. We arrived in the planning stage. Now, before we dive face first in the unwashed bum called a GTA Online public lobby, we are going to run a simulation to make sure we are as effective as possible. We will be doing this from the comforts of a closed private lobby. Here we will learn, we will observe, and we will overcome. Now, I hear you clench your fists and smack your viewing apparatus of choice and yell, how is a private session even close to the hell of a public session? And this is literally breaking rule one. And why does it hurt when I twist my nipples? Calm down. This is just training, and in order to simulate the horrors of a GTA Online lobby, I have enabled Chaos Card, so my viewers can make my time an absolute delight. Hello, sir, would you mind touching my tip? And it was here that we learned valuable lessons. The first thing that can be noticed about this boy, oh, she is thick. You may remember the challenge that we did years ago where we drove a tiny stunt plane across the map. This one, size-wise, doesn't just take the cake, but takes the entire damn bakery. But there's also something incredibly good about this plane, the height. You see, the wings are high up, which means that most vehicles drive right under the wings. And that is great. That means we only need to worry about trucks and bridges and light poles and traffic signs and bands and tunnels and trains, trams, barriers, potholes, holes and the fact that this plane likes to do a little handstand if you go ever so slightly too quick. <laughs> what is that NPC doing? He's just ramping off the fucking thing. The other thing we learned, perseverance. No matter the hardships we might face in a GTA Online lobby, it cannot be worse than being stuck in sandy shores for over an hour straight just because your viewers find it funny to send you back here over and over and over and over. But now it's time for the real deal. Mmm, turn number one. And here we go. We have a long road ahead of us, so let us not waste any time. We decided to attempt a speedrun strat. We utilized the highway to head to the far north as quick as humanly possible. Now, while I've gone to great lengths to camouflage this by painting it a nice and natural green, we of course will be utilizing the stealth function to see how sneaky this plane is. And so we were on our way. Our journey went smooth and quick until we ended up on the intersection next to the casino and lo and behold, insurgent. But if we are sneaky, we might just be able to do this. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about this, okay? We're just passing through, sir. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. We gotta go. We got to go. Okay, no, 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 look, 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 look. We're all good, all right? Everyone's good. Oh, <laughs> Oh, attempt number two. Okay, so perhaps it's not the best idea to race right past the biggest criminal hotspot in the entire game. So instead of doing that, I made a genius call to go to the second biggest hotspot, the West Highway. Now, this highway has treated us well for many of the previous challenges. And maybe, just maybe, this will work. We played it safe. Follow the legal speeds until... Oh, 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 wing, wing. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, I don't think this will fit. <laughs> Shit, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, my God. I, 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 I fucked it. Okay, hold up. I got a plan. What if I do now full speed yeet it? Sure. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and there she is, the West Highway. And this, this started feeling oh so damn good. As long as we stick on this highway, we can go for the three sprung stop somewhere north and then bada bim bada boom. But tragedy soon strucketh. You see, I got cocky and started hooning, but I forgot one crucial detail. It is physically impossible to turn the plane if you go too quick. And now, all we need to do is absolutely send it. Yeah, baby. Oh, no! Oh, fuck! <laughs> 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 
fuck? But this told me all but one thing. This challenge can be done, oh so help me God. Back to the hangar. Back to the... Back to the... Fuck! But this will not stop us. As the common saying goes, the third time is the charm, so we send it out of the docks. Nothing will stop us. Oh, shortcut. Oh, this is good. This is a good shortcut. Is it though? Because these are... Mmm. Mmm. Grab the lube. Okay. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, I fucked it now. How did I... How do I get out of this? No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, fuck no! Stop the- mm, Item number four. Enough screwing around, it's time to put on my serious pants. And so it was said, so it was done. We raced out of the docks, went under the tight bridge, crossed the intersection of tyranny, hooned down the streets of doom, and we arrived at our first sprung stop. Delicious, refreshing, but no time to linger like a wet fart in a retirement home. We raced downtown, and this is where things got spicy. Players everywhere, but they were no match for my cunningness. Another sprunky, and now I realized I am past one of the big hotspots in the city, downtown Los Santos, and I'd be a fool if I utilized the highways from here, because I would be one grinder suffering from PTSD on a cell mission away from death. Here we go, there's another play coming. He doesn't know a damn thing, chat. He doesn't know a damn thing. Here. See that? Didn't have a clue. Holy Mary doing the Macarena, that was too close. But I slowly but surely realized this might be the one. But then, the reality of attempt number four started sinking in. Players. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, no! God damn it, you prick! But little did I know, something else happened here that doomed this run well before this chode-shaped human showed up. Back to the start, but not before some sweet juicy revenge. Show mercy, I'm not here to fuck around, alright? I just wanna get my jet and I'll be out of your hair, alright? Don't worry about shit. Then again, I wouldn't mind fucking them all over. A few moments later. That's what you get, you pricks. <laughs> was good i felt good i'll take it more time number five ladies and gentlemen i had not given up on this stretch just yet on paper it's perfect you do all the sprung stops early on in the challenge so that when you leave the city you only have one more to worry about and as many of you sprung connoisseurs know this can be done anywhere in the middle of the map or even all the way in Polito. but the reality was different but before we carry on with that, here's another silly, but absolutely disastrous fact about this plane. You want to know the most dangerous part? Getting out of the jet. Because every time you do so, the jet likes to reset itself back into attack mode from stealth mode. And so you appear on the map for everyone for a brief amount of time. And let me tell you something. I am a bit of a simpleton. So I repeatedly forget this is a thing and put myself at risk every time I go for a sprung stop. We're actually going to... Oh, oh, oh. Put, that, put it away, put the guns away. And this attempt, oh boy, the public lobby came out in full force. It was here that we'd well and truly put the stealth capability of this craft to the test. I hopped out and went for the classic red car garage sprung stop, a true delight. But little did I know I was having a quickie right in the eye of a tornado coming from Satan's butthole. Pay attention to the minimap. Blinking arrow on minimap means stealth mode. Not blinking equals death. Oh god. Okay. Tuck the guns away. Tuck it away. Tuck it away in between the legs. And hide. Hide. Must hide. Must wait. Must tuck it away. Oh. <gasps> please, 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 please go away. Okay, it's going away. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's a monkey boy. <laughs> no, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is so fucked. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Oh my god. The, the bombs. The bombs are starting flying. Okay, this is it. They're distracted. Send it. <laughs> Clean road. Clean road. Holy smokes, if it wasn't for the quick sneaky boy, we would have been minced meat. But here we sneak, we peek, but most importantly, we clap cheek, but we aren't in the clear just yet. There is nothing stopping us at this point. Nothing except for Lucal 2004 coming right for us. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a big truck. Okay, a little life in it. Oh, God. Okay. Stop right there, we gotta sneak, we gotta sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Get out of the way. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Sweet Joseph in the tanning salon. This thing is the absolute king of being sneaky peaky. Quickly, race down the street. Holy shit. This is some final destination shit. We've seen Halley's, Marky Boy, several close encounters, but we need one more sprung stop and then we absolutely send it to the far north to get this shit over with. <laughs> Holy Jacob, sword fighting demons from the cesspools of hell with a strap on. I could not believe my luck. Close call after close call, more determined than ever. I was able to arrive at the final sprung stop. But then... No. Oh no. Oh no. There it was. This is how this attempt ends. A failing engine. And it will soon lead to a dead plane. We pulled the trigger on it ourselves and let attempt number five come to an end. And there it was that we realized that attempt number four and five had something in common. No. What was that? Was the engine stalling? My god. Not on one, but two attempts. Back to back, the engine starts failing in the exact same spot. A long time ago, we learned that Red Dead Online has a maximum stew range. Perhaps GTA Online has a maximum sneak range. It does explain a lot, especially why stealth in GTA Online is so terribly bad. It's either that, or we are just hitting too much shit along the way. Which, to be fair, could also be a fair assumption to make. Hmm, but shifting blame on ourselves means that we cannot send it through the city and the Vimut Hills and the windy roads of Blaine County, it might just be too much. So we have to use our big brain to make this work. Let's do it. Trains, bridge, road, sprunk, road, garage, sprunk, and now up and onwards to the West Highway and that. Uh, train tracks, bridge, road, sprunk, death, damn it. Oh my god, of course it's the booty Zuma 9000 as well. The problem is, we haven't had a decent taste of getting close. Here's the reality of 8 hours of work. Even if everything went well, and we do not get shafted by the GTA Online players, we only manage to get halfway to Palito before the plane starts breaking down. This is a very, very bleak outlook on this challenge. But this did give me an idea. What if we focus on all the sprung stops first and then purely focus on getting the challenge done and all the way across the map second? The one that makes it so that we can utilize wider roads less traveled without having to worry about the sprung stops. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, on attempt number eight. The problem with this plan, we are going backwards and further away from the objective doing this. But sometimes you gotta take one step back to take two steps forward. I knew of a cluster of sprung stops in a relatively calm area of the map, the southeast docks. And instead of taking the quote unquote quick way, we are going over the east highway. Wide roads, fast cars equals no crashes and good speed to get the challenge done quickly. We arrived at ammunition one out of three we are now heading further south to the docks and here a glorious bundle of sprunkies two out of three and lastly this hidden gem tucked away as far south as south goes three out of three and now to get this damn shit done 
so we headed northbound through the industrial area and luckily there's a connection to the highway right here and now we're on the long road of success and glory we're heading eastbound on this highway so we do not go past the casino where attempt number one ended this highway is less traveled and this seems to be the one ladies and gentlemen we're now so close to Polito, but then But meta, it did no longer. The player is well past us. It was here and now that we touched our wheels upon the sands of Polito. We have sneaked a fighter jet across the map in a public lobby. The burning question is answered. I feel relieved yet constipated. I feel happy yet mortally depressed to the core. I feel alive but also dead. Lord, ah, oh, please smite me down. But. Can you make it across the map in a public lobby with chaos cards? A special thanks to the members of this YouTube channel. <laughs> you guys are the absolute best. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate the living crap out of all of you. Thank you. Bye. Save me from a misery. Oh, well, you know what? I'll take that.